instructor at RJH Motorbike Training Centre in Manchester. Um, if you are thinking of obtaining your full motorcycle licence, okay, um, your full motorcycle licence, then you will need to complete um, your CBT, your motorcycle theory test and module one motorcycle test and module two motorcycle test. Uh, the route is exactly the same on a category A1, a category A2 or a category A. All right, so there's no uh, different test. It's all the same, all parts start to finish. We in Manchester are able to train all categories seven days a week uh, at our facility um, and it's all to scale okay so there's no uh, shortcuts everything is to scale which is why we have a very good a very high first time pass rate all details can be found on our website www.rjhgroup.co.uk um, before you're able to take your module one test you're going to need to do some training even the, the, the best riders will need to do some training um, and when you report to your module one test your examiner will check your driving license both parts your motorcycle theory test and your CBT test certificate you need all of those he will then ask you to sign um, a declaration and he will then be looking at what you are wearing okay so trainers and uh, tracksuit bottoms would be unacceptable so you do need the right gear um, now your instructors can uh, advise you on that but at RJH in Manchester we're able to pro we're able to provide all of the gear we can sell you all of the gear to get you in motorcycling uh, again it's all on our website all right um, and then um, on uh, checking everything is is all good you'll be uh, escorted out to your motorcycle and then you will start your test your your test is started as soon as you meet the examiner what I'm going to do is show you how you can pass your test your module one test first time um, I'm going to demonstrate to you um, all of our slow speed maneuvers okay so um, very important before we um, move off um, into the first exercise which is the um, manual handling it's important that we always start from the control position and we always check our mirrors and check our shoulders so um, I'm stationary at the moment with the engine running I'm going to apply my front brake uh, bring my clutch in select first gear I'm going to um, re release the, uh, apply the back brake, release my front brake, and I'm going to check my mirrors, I'm going to check my shoulders before I move away. Okay, and I'm going to go and park up in the right hand uh, manual handling bay. This is how we teach people to park up in the right hand. Okay, into neutral, uh, switch the engine off, and pop the bike on the step. Okay, and what is very important is that we don't hit the cones over, and we park the motorcycle within the green bay. All right, any part of the bike outside of the Green Bay and we're going to have a problem. So I'm going to take the bike off of the stand. Okay, I'm going to check my mirrors, look over my shoulders, and push the bike around as... ...looking where I want to go. Go forwards and backwards as many times as I want. Okay, back within the bay. Move back on the bike. Okay, and start her up. Um, now, it is important that you um, show uh, control, that you don't drop the bike, uh, you take out effective observations, and you don't hit any cones, and that's uh, absolutely fine. 
Uh, moving on to the next exercise, you will be asked to complete a slalom and figure of eight. So uh, your examiner will show you the diagram uh, and he'll be asking you to do your slow speed slalom and figure of eight. Now, uh, the other reason I'm doing this is because somebody says I can't do it on my pan-European, so we'll, uh, we'll show them. So I'm going to go into first gear. Okay, control position. Now this slow speed slalom and figure of eight, you will continue on test to doing the figure eight until your examiner calls you over. He will want you to do at least two. So I'm going to check my mirrors, check my shoulders, and I'm going to slow ride away. Now remembering slow speed control is uh, feathering your clutch and tickling your back brake as and when, looking where you're going. Don't want to be looking at the cones. Okay. Uh, if we can do this on an ST1300, certainly do it on our Suzuki Bandits. I'm going to be looking where I want to go. Slow speed control. Looking where I want to go. Your hands will follow your eyes. Yep. Looking where you want to go. 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 Yeah, your hands will follow your eyes. That's one figure of eight. Okay, we're going to complete the second. Uh, keep revs nice and busy. Yeah, looking where you want to go. So two figures of eight, your examiner will call you over. And you come over and just come to a stop. No need to use the front brake at all. Remember how powerful that front brake is. At this point, your examiner will probably ask you to pop it into neutral. And then he'll explain the next exercise, which is slow speed in a straight line. Stopping with your front wheel within the four blue cones. So, into first gear control position. Yeah. Checking your mirrors. Checking your shoulders before you move away. Yeah. Either in the clutch, back brake, slow speed. Go really as slow as you want, or either your examiner will be walking behind you, and you will be uh, riding as slowly as you can. Yeah, walk in pace, stopping with your front wheel within the four blue cones. Okay. Uh, what can cause you a problem there is if you don't do your observations. Okay, and if you put your feet down whilst riding, hit any cones, and if your front wheel doesn't stop within the uh, four blue cones. Okay, um, so the U-turn exercise is followed from the slow speed in the straight line. So your front wheel is within the four blue cones. And you're going to be doing a U-turn. So we're going to be checking our mirrors and uh, checking our shoulders. Slowly riding alongside. Uh, we use green cones here, but on test it's a solid white line. Checking your mirrors and your lifesaver before you actually commit to your U-turn. Okay, uh, problems could be um, feet, feet down whilst riding, hitting a cone. Uh, going outside the white lines, missing the lifesavers. So, mirrors and shoulders, riding slowly. Okay, I'm going to check my mirrors again. I'm going to look over my right shoulder, a lifesaver, before I turn around. Looking where I want to go. Okay, and stopping. All right, now, if that can be done on a pan-European ST1300, then... Uh, we can certainly train you uh, tra safely to do it on a Suzuki GSF 650. Now on your module one, uh, you are allowed to accumulate five minor faults and still pass. Six minor faults would be a uh, would be unsuccessful on your module one. Okay, if you uh, receive one serious or one dangerous fault on your module one, that would be a uh, unsuccessful attempt.